Hello Hammer fans, Ryan coming to you from uh, beautiful Carefree, Arizona. Today uh, is our second product spotlight video and this month we're focused on Perpetuum. It's ideal timing because uh, Sarah and I, we have our Carefree Cycling Retreat, Hammer Powered, uh, coming up in the next two weeks and on all those long rides that we're going to be doing, uh, both road and mountain bike, Perpetuum is going to be the drink of choice. So to tell you more about this meal in a bottle, I'll let Sarah take it away. Perpetuum is the fuel of choice for endurance activity. It provides your body everything it needs for those multi-hour and even multi-day events. Its formula has a perfectly balanced supply of the three macronutrients, carbs, protein, and fat. Carbs. These account for about 87% of the caloric profile of Perpetuum. The carb of choice here is maltodextrin, a long chain carbohydrate. As with all hammer fuels, there are no simple sugars added to the carbohydrate formula. Protein. Perpetuum contains a soy protein isolate. This is an important part of the equation for endurance activity. When exercise goes into the two and three hour point and beyond, it's important to consume some protein along with a complex carbohydrate. This is because about 10% of your caloric utilization at this point in activity comes from protein, whether you're supplying your body with protein or not. If you're not supplying your body with a protein source, your body will begin to cannibalize muscle tissue in order to meet its protein requirements. This can cause premature muscle fatigue. Fat. The longer you exercise, the more your body relies on stored fat to satisfy its fueling requirements. The small percentage of healthy fat in Perpetuum helps cue your body to release its fat stores to be used for energy. These macronutrients, along with Perpetuum's other auxiliary nutrients, help maintain optimal athletic performance by maintaining consistent energy, maximizing stored fat utilization, and buffering lactic acid to prevent muscle fatigue. Okay, now let's head on over to the kitchen to see what Ryan's up to. Well, hello, Chef Ryan here, coming to you for our next uh, monthly video. Last month we talked about heat, and heat, as you all well know now, is great for workouts of two hours and under. Once you get beyond two hours, your body needs more than just carbohydrates to come into the mix. And that's where Perpetuum is a really great drink to consider. All right, so there are three ways to mix Perpetuum that we're gonna talk about today. First way is a one hour bottle. Second way is a multi-hour bottle. And third way, which is gonna be new for uh, most of you out there, is to mix Perpetuum into a gel or a paste. For the one hour bottle, Take a look at the usage chart on your jug of Perpetuum and mix the suggested amount in a water bottle. You'll want to consume only one bottle an hour. This method is ideal when training or racing with a support crew and vehicle who can mix more hourly bottles for you as you go. The same process goes for the multi-hour bottle. This is by far the most convenient method of fueling because it allows you to be self-sufficient for many hours. If you're determined you need two scoops per hour to fulfill your requirements, which is 270 calories, and you're preparing for a three hour workout, you will need six scoops mixed with water. And don't try to mix this all at once. Add a scoop, add some water, shake it up, then repeat. This brings us to our final form of mixing. If you want to carry the highest volume of calories in the least amount of space, making a thick mix is your best option. It is best mixed with a perfect shaker bottle or spoon. Um, when it's concentrated uh, you know, in those forms, um, it's not going to fulfill your hydration needs. It becomes more of a dedicated meal in a bottle. So you are going to want plain water, uh, like I said, to fulfill those hydration needs. Perpetuum comes in three great subtle flavors. There is the ever popular orange vanilla, uh, there is strawberry vanilla, and there is cafe latte, which also has a little hit of uh, caffeine for those that like the extra boost. 